Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to create a subdomain on cPanel. Um, so subdomains are a great way to manage and organize um, your website content or your website pages. In an instance where one of your servers has grown and has got too much content to all put on the main page, it's then recommended that you make use of a subdomain and organize that content on a different um, page altogether, but it was still within your main domains page. Uh, so today we'll take you through um, on a step-by-step -step on how to do that. Um, it's an easy and five-step process. And uh, step number one, let's get started. I'm going to log into cPanel. So you need to navigate to your cPanel uh, using your username and password, log in. Once you've logged in, uh, you can scroll down within your cPanel uh, main page. You can scroll down and locate the domain section and click on domains. <clears throat> you can do that or using the search tool, you can just search domain and it will show you that section of domains and you can just click through um, and, and it will lead you to your domains page. Once you're there, there is a, a blue button on the right hand side which is saying create a new domain. You can click on that. Um, and in this instance, let's say you want to start blogging. Um, and you know, so the example I will use will be blog dot the domain name. Um, let me just spell that correctly. Testing domain dot co dot za. Um, and I just want to use that blog dot my main domain um, and then we click submit so step two you want to navigate uh, to the um, subdomain section this you can do from the cPanel dashboard you're gonna scroll down and locate the domain section and click on domains or you can easily just search the word domain from the search bar and this will also get you to the same section of domains. Once in this section of domains, um, your next step, which will be step three, is to then create the, sub, the desired subdomain. Um, you can do this by clicking the blue button on the right hand side and it will prompt you to enter the name of the desired domain and in our instance we are saying this we're going to call this blog so it's going to be blog dot um, our main domain dot co dot za and from here you can just click on submit Step four, uh, which is a document root field, you know, this will be automatically populated based on the subdomain name that you've entered. Um, if you want to customize uh, the folder where the subdomain file will be stored, this is where you can modify within this field. Otherwise, you can just leave it as is. And as you can see from my list of domains, uh, here's the newly created um, subdomain which is blog.testingdomain.co.za and that's my main domain this is my other subdomain which i created a while ago uh, so the fifth and last step um once you've entered your subdomain name and reviewed that it's okay um you can then manage it because now you have your subdomain uh, you can click on manage here to delete or remove this subdomain you can do um an email address that's linked to your to your domain so now that you know how to create your subdomain and where to manage the subdomain um, you know that's it uh, for 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 today's tutorial on subdomains using cPanel um, if this video was useful please share it with your friends uh, like and subscribe for more uh, website management tutorials. Until next time, cheers.